Hello, this is Jamie A. Heidel, the Articulate Autistic, and I have a brand new video for you today. This one's going to go up a day early because I have plans this Memorial Day weekend, which usually doesn't happen, but it's happening now. Yay! So this video is going to be called Why Autistic People Do That, video number 24. We can't hide our disappointment. So this is something that I've struggled with my whole life, and I'm sure the other people on the spectrum has, have also struggled with. Also, if you are a neurotypical person who knows an autistic person, it's very possible that you have been hurt by the fact that the autistic person cannot hide their disappointment. For one thing, autistic people do not like change in a routine. So if, let's say, you know, we were supposed to go somewhere with you or do something, it's upsetting for two reasons if you cancel because one you canceled and so now we don't get to see you but the second reason is um we were planning on doing that thing and now we're not doing that thing so now we're not sure where to go from there like we had our day planned around that thing <coughs> excuse me and now we're like kind of adrift like okay what what am i going to do now so also disappointment with um, gifts. This is a really, really tough one. I can tell you from experience that I am wholly and completely incapable of hiding my disappointment when it comes to gifts to the point that when I was younger, people wanted to just stop giving them to me entirely. And honestly, I wouldn't have minded. And I'll tell you the reason for this. It's not because I don't appreciate gifts. I do. I absolutely do. But there were times when I was a little bit younger that I used to dread Christmas because inevitably I would get something that was either um, it wouldn't fit me or it wasn't a style that I would ever use or it would be a sensory issue for me or it was something I was allergic to. Like let's say it was a wool sweater or it was... Um, something with gluten in it which I can't have or it was something that I just never would ever use or body lotion with all sorts of scents in it that I, I never put stuff like that on my skin because I'm too sensitive and these are the things that I would get and my disappointment was so deep about it that I actually was hurt by the fact that people who'd known me my whole life didn't understand that these aren't gifts that they should have given me because there's, you know, they just, it, again, it wasn't that I didn't appreciate the thought. I just couldn't understand why they were giving me things that I would, I couldn't even have around me, you know? I mean, I guess something that's not my style is one thing, but something that's, um, you know, scratchy or, 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 something that's going to cause me an allergy attack or something that's like just completely not me at all like not even close to me makeup and scented products and lotions and things like that I don't want anything like that and I always thought that I was much clearer about the fact that I am sensitive to things like that and I don't wear things like that unless they're completely natural or organic and I used to get gifts like that and I was like but you don't get me. You don't understand me. And I think that's why the disappointment was there. It wasn't like, oh, this is a crappy gift. It was, I was really hurt because the gift was telling me, I do not know you as a person. I don't, I don't know you. I know that this is what women your age usually like, so this is what I'm getting you. And I felt like it was like a throwaway gift. And I was told that people put thought into the gifts for me, but I didn't believe it. Um, because the gift that I had showed the exact opposite of that. So I have hurt people's feelings, um, not meaning to. I am incapable of hiding my disappointment. So if somebody gets me something, it used to be when I was a kid, you know, if I didn't like something, I was very blunt about it and I just said it and I was angry and I was hurt and I was upset and I was like, why would you get this for me? But, you know, as an adult, I'm just, you know, thank you or whatever, but there's no, I guess it's obvious that I, you know, it's like, oh, thank you very much, or whatever, like, I'm, I'm masking, and I'm, I'm trying to be happy about it, I'm not happy about it, but I'm like, this is so awkward, and the, you know, everybody, all the attention is on me, too, like, I hate that, so all the attention is on me, and they're, like, looking to see what my reaction's gonna be, and I have gotten gifts now, now, this isn't to say that I haven't gotten good gifts, because I have gotten gifts that have made me burst into tears, because I am so grateful that the person who bought it for me understands me, 
and bought something for me that fits me completely. I don't mean fits me as in clothing, but like, you know, is something I can use and something that I would, I would do something with. And again, nobody is purposefully getting me gifts that I can't use. It's just, it just happens. But there's no way to hide the disappointment. So if you are the type of, if you are autistic rather, and you've had this trouble and you're like, you get something and you're just like, and everyone around you is hurt. I mean, you're hurt to begin with. And then everyone around you is hurt. And then the whole day is kind of ruined. And you get anxiety around um, gift giving times, especially uh, Christmas and holidays of that nature. Then you are not alone. I understand completely. I I know that this is going to sound harsh to somebody who maybe sees things from a neurotypical perspective. But I would rather not get gifts at all than get a gift, open it up, and have to do everything in my power to try to hide my disappointment and then not succeed and then hurt someone's feelings. I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. I hate I hate it when I do that. So. I know that for a neurotypical person or someone who's not on the spectrum, it can seem like we're being incredibly ungrateful or that we we don't care or that's just, that's not the case. I just think that we are wholly incapable of hiding our disappointment and we feel things very, very deeply. And sometimes we can't express emotions properly at all, but for whatever reason, and I've talked to other people on the spectrum, Disappointment is just not something that we can hide. I, I don't I don't really fully understand why that is, but that's a thing. So if you are on the spectrum and you understand this, definitely leave a comment below if you are neurotypical and you're like having a light bulb moment, like, oh, wow, that person's not a jerk. They're just autistic. Um, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think. I think it would be great if we could figure out a way to reduce the incidence of disappointment and hurt feelings during the holidays because that's that's just really rough or if you're getting a, a present for you know say a birthday or you're taking somebody on a trip or god forbid you surprise one of us 90 percent of us i can't speak for all autistic people but 90 percent of us we don't like surprises so not only will you get disappointment you'll get fear a meltdown we may run screaming out of the room we may just run out of the room without screaming we may be crying so ah our our reactions are not a reflection of who you are and your intentions at all it's again we have a completely different neurology and we are not always going to act in the ways that you would you know expect and I apologize on behalf of every autistic person in the world for any time you've ever gotten a gift for us and we've been like <laughs> because that's not the face that we mean to give you and it's like oh so I don't know, this one's kind of all over the place, but if you understand what I'm talking about, no matter what side of the spectrum you're on, no matter what your neurotype is, please leave a comment below if you are on YouTube or if you are on Facebook or anywhere else you see this video. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.